Roger in Sutton Coldfield, United Kingdom writes to me, Hi Paul, I am literally going crazy here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I trust your opinion, so you the man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate this has been done to death already, but there are so many diametrically opposed views on the subject. Who do you believe? Many people say diffusers should be behind the speakers. Others say absorbers, and some say both. I would be over the moon if you could put together a dummy's guide to simple placement of diffusion, absorption, etc. I'm with you on absorption on the front wall, but should I place diffusers on the back wall, side wall, or both? I've also read that diffusers directly behind the speakers can be a good thing. Well, I apologize for that. It, it is such a confusing subject, and to make matters even more interesting, of course, there are tons of opinions, and I don't know there is any one right opinion. What's right is what works, obviously, and I don't want to just be stupid and just state, well, you know, just do what works, because that's kind of that's empty, and you're looking for a dummy's guide. My, well, first off, let me apologize. Normally, we would have diffusers back here. Normally, we would have cables connecting our speakers and our amps. <laughs> We're just, as I'm filming this, we're just getting ready for the Axpona trade show, the consumer show in Chicago, which will be the first show we have actually showed up at since COVID. We tried to make the Royal Ascot Raceway show in England, and then sadly the Queen died and they closed it all up, so we came home, <laughs> and now Axpona and thus the creek rises once again, we should be at Axpona. And I think this video will probably appear around that time maybe, or maybe after, I don't know. I don't know when these videos appear. I just do them in batches and then they appear when they appear. Anyway, I am an advocate of, let's call it three main things. So the first is diffusion on the front wall. No absorption back here. Diffusion, because the speakers want to have this area, the speakers away from the wall, diffusion back here, and space for the sound stage to build and develop. I have not found a system yet that does not benefit from that. So, rule number one, diffusion, on this wall, whatever you want to call it, behind the loudspeakers. And your, your question to me about putting diffusers right here, I, I don't think that would be a good idea. I don't know who's telling you that, but I don't think it's a good idea. They need room. You have to have, uh, what do we got here? One, two, three, four feet. So we've got four feet between the back of the speaker and this wall. And this works really well. Put three diffusers here, you're good to go. Number two, sidewall, okay? The reflection, the first point of reflection that comes off of this tweeter, boom. You can, it's, it's, it's easy to measure. I've written about it before. Have a buddy stand over it at the listening place and hold a mirror. Have somebody else over here holding a mirror like this and you move until he she can see the tweeter in the mirror and you're centered. And right there is your point of first reflection. Now there, you're gonna to have to do that by ear. It can either be an abfuser, which is an absorber and a diffuser, that's kind of what I like, or something simple like these. Now what, what we normally have here is one of those abfusers. That's my preference, but that's a preference developed over a long period of time and in this room. I, and in another system, I might not do that at all. That you're gonna to have to listen for. It might need an absorber, it might need a diffuser. I don't know, that's that for sure. This you need to do something because of the point of first reflection. And the third thing I will tell you, 
the room has to sound right. So we've pulled all this stuff out and right now this room does not sound right. You can probably hear it in my voice. You can probably hear it's a little echoey and that's not good. The other thing you don't want is it to be dead. Walk into a room and it's kind of dead, uh-uh, not good. Not good for a recording studio, a control room, not good for a mix room, not good for a hi-fi system. Your voice should sound alive and natural. So those are the three things that I would look for in any system setup that you're going to do. I hope that helps and good luck with your system. Okay.